Rafa! Start for the cross! Now! Long, Mickey, long! Wait, Go wait! Long. No! No! They come in! They come in closer! Wait, closer! Wait. Closer! Wait! 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 Close to 100 percent do you feel? I mean, like uh, get, uh, the small details in the games, I'm maybe not there 100 uh, percent. It takes some time to get everything back, but I've got a couple of 90 minutes in the bodies now, and uh, I think that's most important for me uh, to get the body going again and uh, be ready for that. Then everything will come with the time. Uh, but I feel uh, I feel uh, like I'm close to getting there. Yes. Just in terms of the, the timeline of the recovery, you know, there, there was kind of expectations that you may not be ready for the beginning of the season. What were were they impressed with just how, how quick you kind of came back and how the, the healing went? Um, I mean, uh, they put up a good plan for me, and I think I was uh, almost on that, uh, that time frame. Um, so uh, I'm happy with that, but the only thing... Uh, with my injury, the time of the year it came, it was no need to force anything. Uh, so the bone could heal, got a little bit more time to maybe heal than we would maybe have done if it was in the beginning of the season or middle of the season to be able to play. But since it came so late in the season, there was no like uh, need for stress uh, to get back to play because I had the preseason to build me up. So I think that was a good, a good thing in the bad thing uh, when the injury came, but uh, I think that was a, a good thing that we could like. We didn't have to force anything, so we could take it in a in a good tempo. Have you had to adjust the way you play, or, or has it felt any different in terms of the way you plant your foot or anything like that? Uh, no, as of right, right now, I feel like uh, normal. Uh, I've had uh, just some small issues here and there around. Uh, but not the surgery area so but that's normal when you uh, when my body hasn't uh, trained properly since like yeah, i think middle of august so that's that's normal with the uh, with reactions but we have managed it uh, well uh, with the load as i said before so uh, yeah uh, it's it's been good uh, during the bad for for you and antonio you're gonna have um new outside backs new wingers probably how has the adjustment period gone for you to get used to playing with new players there that weren't there last season? I mean, it takes some time uh, when it comes new players into the into a team. Um, but uh, we have been training well during the uh, preseason together, and it's, everything is about getting time together, glue together. Of course, uh, in the beginning, everything will uh, maybe not uh, look like we have all the connections there because. It's normal. It takes time. It takes uh, time, and uh, but we're we're ready for the challenges and all the new players that uh, they have brought in. Uh, is is good players, young players, uh, good with the ball, and uh, so we we're, we're looking forward to, to it. At at the same time, it feels from the outside like the spine of the team is the same. Pedro, you, Antonio, up the middle, all the way up to the top. What what does that do as far as comfort to have? The middle of the park all set from last year no i think uh, it's important every year to try to keep as many players as possible but as you know uh, people uh, players uh, co comes and go and that's all the sports out here so that's the part that we have to adjust to and um, uh, i think it's it's important to keep uh, most of the players so we don't have that big of a change. It was a little bit more change of players this year compared to the previous years. Um, but I think also we needed some new energy, some uh, some new experience and uh, quality. So um, no, we, as I said before, we, we're looking forward to it. How do you feel uh, about Wilder Cartagena that played your center back role also in preseason and uh, also Angulo playing as a win back more defensively um, this year? Yeah, I think Wilder had two or three games maybe in the central defender there. I think he did he did great. Uh, obviously, he's a midfielder, he's good with the ball and uh, stuff like that. So, so he did a good work. And then uh, Ivan on the on the wing, wing wing back has he has good uh, speed and uh, good with the ball. So he's a 
good offensive threat there. Uh, so that's that's two good uh, good options if they need. Yeah, but, um, well, thank you for the time. In two weeks, you guys are gonna face Tigres Monterrey, so it'll be a tough opponent from the Mexican League. Do you think these two weeks in the preseason games will is enough time to face uh, such a good team, which is Tigres? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't really know Tigres, uh, the team there, but I only heard that they are good. Um, but uh, we're looking forward to the the challenge, and then uh, we're just gonna need need to start the the season good. Uh, the first the first game we have is New York, and that's the game we look into. And then Tigres is uh, two weeks away, and we have to wait for that one until that time comes. In the last game, uh, I noticed that you were touching your left groin. Is something that concerned the team, or is something that is happening because, of, like you mentioned, it is part of the process because you didn't have that much uh, training uh, from the beginning. No, that was uh, that was just like a thing that happened when I, I think I chased down Jill there on the on our corner. So it was not; it was just a quick pop, but uh, no, no big thing. It was no big issue, so no problems. That was good. All, right. All set. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Having. Papu, it's uh, obviously been a very interesting offseason for you with the, with the World Cup and then coming back here. Just talk about the, the experience of that and then kind of how uh, preseason has gone for you. Fue un descanso y una pretemporada muy interesante para ti con la Mundial y ahora viniendo para, para esta temporada, si puedes descubrir eso. Sí, sí, la verdad que eh, hemos tenido un par de, de días duros, una semana que que el equipo le metió al trabajo para, para llegar bien a este inicio de, de temporada. Este, y la verdad que nos sentimos muy bien y, y con mucha confianza para el arranque del campeonato. Yeah, it's, uh, we've had a, a tough few weeks where the, the coaches and the technical staff have really uh, worked us hard and uh, really uh, put a lot of work in front of us to get ready for this first week of the season. And we're coming into it with, with a lot of confidence and uh, ready to just get this started. How, how valuable was your World Cup experience? ¿Cómo fue tu experiencia en el Mundial? Bien, bien, la verdad que muy contento eh, por, por haber cumplido un sueño de poder estar en un Mundial. Me quedó como ahí en el debe el, el poder jugar, eh, que era otro, otro sueño para mí, poder jugar en el Mundial. Este, pero la verdad que muy contento que a mi edad de tan joven poder eh, ya estar participando de, de un Mundial. Este, la verdad que estoy súper contento con esa experiencia y, y nada, ahora seguir trabajando in Orlando and in the selection to be able to go to Yeah, it's, uh, you know, very happy, very happy to achieve a dream that I've had for a long time of being uh, on a squad at the World Cup. Obviously, I would have liked to have played, and so that's still a, a dream that I look to accomplish. Uh, but just just very happy to be able to be there, uh, to be there with the group. And now we come back to Orlando, we keep working for Orlando and work with the uh, with the national team to try and make the next one as well. Paco, in the collective, siempre. Lo has dicho, ¿no? Que Orlando City que gane todos los torneos, pero en individual. El año pasado hiciste buenas estadísticas, desafortunadamente no saliste ganador del premio, pero también te, eso te motiva a seguir, uh, digamos, incrementando las estadísticas a comparación del año pasado y quizás poder ser nominado y verte como logros individuales, como el juego de las estrellas y, estar, y, y ganando premios, ¿no? Que, que se dice que tú eres el mejor jugador de aquí de Orlando. Sí, o sea, a uno todas esas cosas lo motiva. Eh, mejorar las estadísticas del año pasado capaz que es uno de los, de los objetivos eh, el año pasado al principio me costó adaptarme un poco después sí, ya cuando me adapté agarré un poco el ritmo de la liga pero, pero nada, este año esperemos arrancar de, de primera bien y, y poder mejorar las estadísticas de, del año pasado y así eso, eso te va llevando a, a diferentes lugares yeah, I think uh, all those things uh, motivate me. Obviously, I want to improve on uh, the stats that I was able to post last year. I think in the beginning, it cost me a little bit adapting to this league and to the rhythm of the league and uh, to this new team. Uh, but, you know, I think it's just uh, getting ready for this year and trying to improve on those statistics and bring everything about and achieve all of our objectives. <laughs> Eh, te ayuda mucho en el ataque, eh, ya han conversado más o menos en algunas estrategias de, de cómo eva, evadir a la defensa contraria y, y bueno, ¿qué te parece jugar con el tincho? Sí, sí, la verdad que con jugadores que, que juegan bien así como Martín es muy fácil eh, adaptarse y nada, creo que se ha adaptado muy bien 
al equipo este, y nada, ojalá que este año nos vaya muy bien juntos y que a él en lo individual también le vaya muy bien. Yeah, it's uh, it's always easy to adjust and adapt to playing with great players like Martin. I think he's done a great job of adapting, and we've been able to adjust to each other well. And uh, hopefully, we we stay connected throughout the season and just continue to achieve our goals as a team and individuals as well. La presión que que este que dices tú que sí te gusta porque te motiva más, pero también el capitán del equipo Mauricio Pereira ha dicho de que tú eres el mejor jugador de Orlando que tú eres el que, el, que digamos que el MVP el, el que se, se pone el equipo al hombro cómo te sientes que el capitán no solamente ponga presión pero ponga esa responsabilidad en una persona tan joven como tú no sí me encanta eh, lo he bueno Mauri es un amigo para mí y lo hemos conversado y la verdad que es algo que, que, que me llena de orgullo primero y que me da mucha responsabilidad y muchas ganas de, de poder seguir y, y de ayudar al equipo como como ellos piensan que, que, que yo puedo ayudar y este y la verdad que este año ojalá sea un gran año para todos. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, uh, it's, uh, I, lo I love the pressure. Mauricio has obviously been, been a great friend to me and a great teammate and we've, we've spoken about it, uh, that you know, there's, there's pressure, but it's, it's a good thing and that uh, he thinks I'm a great player and I hope to just really help the team in all the ways that they think I can and hopefully this year I'll be able to achieve those expectations that they have of me. Este año, Facundo, a diferencia de lo anterior, se nota que hay mucha versatilidad en ataque, muchos jugadores en el medio jugando diferentes posiciones. ¿Eso es lo que está haciendo, lo que va a hacer a Orlando diferente este año? ¿O qué, qué puntos puntuales tú puedes decir que la diferencia ha, ha mejorado el ataque? ¿O, ¿O seguimos igual? Sí, yo creo que también tenemos un equipo un poco más joven. Eh, somos la mayoría bastante jóvenes, que eso nos da mucha energía. Este, pero sí, la verdad que hoy, eh, hoy por hoy el equipo es muy, muy vertical hacia adelante, atacamos enseguida hacia adelante. Eh, un poco el partido amistoso del, del otro día nos faltó un poco en defensa, este, que es lo que estamos tratando de, de mejorar esta semana para llegar bien al, al inicio del campeonato, pero sí, en ataque la verdad que estamos muy bien. Yeah, I think uh, we've we've got a team that's a little bit younger this year that uh, we're able to bring a lot uh, a lot of energy and in the way that we play, we're very vertical. We like to attack, and we always want to be attacking. I think in the in the last scrimmage that we had of the preseason, we fell a little bit short in defense, and we've been working on shoring that up this week to start the season. At the same time, with all the new players, the young players, the spine of the team remains the same with Pedro and Antonio in the middle, and you and Mauricio and. How important is it to have that continuity of the middle of the park? Hay muchos cambios, pero todavía la espina de este equipo todavía está acá. ¿Cómo cómo está importante eso para para estar seguro? Sí, también, o sea, es bueno que lleguen jugadores nuevos porque no han, eh, le dan nueva vida al equipo, pero también es importante tener compañeros que ya conocemos del año pasado y y, y como decía la línea más o menos del medio se ha mantenido y la verdad que eso nos ayuda mucho a ya conocernos y saber los movimientos que hace uno, que hace otro. Eso te ayuda también y, y combinarlo con nuevos jugadores, eso es espectacular. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it's great to bring in new players and to bring in different aspects, but it's also great to have teammates that that you knew in in the previous seasons and that know your movements and to have that spine stay similar and they already know what we're going to do and the movements that we make and where we like to get the ball in those attacking spots, it, it really helps us just uh, develop and adapt and then utilize those new players that are coming in as well. Rafi, you mentioned, the last one. Uh, you mentioned just the, the adaptation to the league from last year. Uh, what did you learn, what was the biggest thing that you learned from last year that you can kind of take into this year to, to really get the ground running right from day one? Mencionaste la adaptación a esta liga el año pasado. ¿Qué es una cosa que aprendiste el año pasado que puedes traer a, este, a esta temporada? Sí, lo, lo que más me costó adaptarme al principio, que después lo agarré bastante bien, fue el ritmo que tenía la liga. Eh, tiene un ritmo tremendo que donde no corres eh, te pasan por arriba y un poco me costó eso adaptarme al principio porque yo venía como un jugador más ofensivo que me costaba un poco la vuelta hacia atrás. Lo fui mejorando poco a poco y, y creo que hoy ya estoy bastante adaptado a esa, a esa forma de jugar y bueno, espero este año poder arrancar ya desde el primer partido con ese, con ese ritmo. Yeah, 
I think the thing that I had the most difficult adjusting to at the beginning of last year was the the rhythm of the league and the way that the rhythm of each game that is played and you have to be engaged at all times. I think uh, last year when I came in, I was very uh, attacking minded and I uh, had trouble adjusting to the the back pressure and coming back and helping out in defense. But I think that's one thing that I really want to improve on this year and make sure that I'm focused on and hopefully adjust to that form to a quicker pace. All right, we'll start with Pedro Galese. Pedro, uh, just overall thoughts on, on preseason heading into uh, the first game this week. Just how was it for you and um, how do you feel the team is ready for this one? Tus pensamientos de, de la pretemporada y cómo fue para ti y solo entrando en este primer partido de la temporada. Sí, yo creo que nos hemos preparado muy bien. Eh, ya conocemos lo que quiere Oscar. Eh, el último partido por ahí intentamos un poco lo que él lo que él quiere y yo creo que estamos listos para este fin de semana. Yeah, I think uh, I think we've prepared well. Uh, we've we've adjusted to the way that Oscar kind of wants to play us this year and the the small changes that he has for for going in this year. I think we uh, tried to implement that a little bit in the in the last preseason game, and I think we're we're ready for the season. How about the, the difficulties of um, adapting to the new players, new personnel? How has that been for for you? Como son las dificultades de de ajustar a la la los jugadores nuevos? ¿Cómo fue para ti? Sí, se han adaptado muy rápido. Eh, el grupo se siente un grupo bastante joven, bastante unido. Eh, yo creo que este año se va a ver un Orlando que, que presiona bastante desde adelante, así que un equipo bastante intenso es el que tenemos ahora. Yeah, I think uh, the, the group has adapted well. It's obviously a younger group this year, and I think uh, fans will see an Orlando City team this year that really presses from the front and is, is more intense than they've seen in the past. Pero bueno, primero feliz cumpleaños y quería decirte eh, de centrales, no has tenido siempre a, a Carlos ni a Robin, y ha estado Cartagena, ¿no? Que también ha sido compañero tuyo, bueno, que es compañero tuyo en la selección. ¿Cómo crees que lo ha hecho jugando de central en una línea de tres o no jugó tres, cinco, dos? Sí, Wilder se ha adaptado a, a lo que quiere el profe eh, en, en la línea de tres que, que, estaba, que estaba practicando en en esta temporada, eh, junto con, con Rodrigo, ahora el, el retorno de, de Robin, eh, creo que es un arma más para el equipo y, y es bueno para todos. Sí, creo que Wilder ha obviamente stepped up y ha hecho lo que Oscar le pidió hacer cuando estábamos practicando un poco de los tres en la temporada. Ha stepped in between uh, Rodrigo y and, and ahora Robin, ahora que ha returned, y really just done lo que Oscar ha pedido. Y creo que es just otra facet and change that the team has has in our bag if we need to make it. Pero tú tú juegas ya mexicana en dos semanas juegas contra Tigres. Hay una sensación de revancha y cómo crees que va a llegar el equipo en dos semanas que empieza bueno empieza la liga en un par de días pero en dos semanas tienen que jugar contra un rival difícil que tú también lo conoces. Sí el equipo el equipo está muy bien eh, nos hemos complementado bien con con los compañeros nuevos que han llegado eh, no lo tomo mucho como revancha creo que Cuando estuve en, en la Liga Mexicana lo hice bien, fui a un equipo que estaba bastante complicado con el tema de, de la baja, pero creo que, que di lo que tenía que dar. Ahora me toca estar aquí y, y bueno, enfrentar a, a equipos mexicanos también va a ser lindo. Yeah, I think uh, I think the team is is done well and is prepared, and we've really adjusted to our our new players. Uh, I don't really look at the the game against Tigres so much as a as a revenge game. It's whenever I was in Liga MX, it was uh, it was always uh, fun to play against them. They're a difficult and complicated team, uh, but I'm looking forward to to going back to Mexico, and it should be a great experience. Pero todos sabemos tu tu habilidad bajo el arco. Lo has mostrado hasta en partidos amistosos. No hay no hay excusa para decir no que esa posición es tuya. Pero, ¿cómo te sientes tú esa temporada que tú dices, bueno, esa temporada ya con mi experiencia puedo, puedo hacer más cosas que también te lleven a, lo, a los premios que has, que has ganado antes o que te han convocado aquí como la, el premio del Juego de las Estrellas, ¿no? Sí, yo creo que eh, puedo seguir aportando mi, mi experiencia, mi, los partidos que tengo encima. Eh, quiero que este, que este año el equipo sea campeón, que que siempre esté en, en lo más arriba y, y ayudar a los compañeros en, en, desde mi lugar que se pueda. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, you know, I've, I've got a lot of experience and I've shown that to, to this team and on top of the games that I've already played for this team. I think uh, looking ahead to this year, we, we want to be champions. We always want to be at, at the top of our level and that's that's our goal for this year. Pedro, ¿qué tal? Luis Carlos Pineda, del fútbol eh, Lima, Perú. Eh, quería preguntarte eh, sobre la selección. Eh, se viene el partido contra Alemania y Marruecos. ¿Cómo llega físicamente y qué expectativas tiene de esos dos encuentros? No, dos partidos lindos, eh, que cualquiera lo quiere jugar, contra Alemania, contra Marruecos, selecciones que, que han estado en este último Mundial, que hicieron un buen papel. Y son selecciones para seguir preparándonos. Eh, se, se sabe que la eliminatoria comienza en septiembre, así que tenemos todos estos, estos meses para prepararnos. Yeah, looking at uh, these, these two games coming up for the, the Peruvian national team, they're going to be two great games. Uh, they'll be against Germany and Morocco, two teams that played in the World Cup, and uh, should be good for us to continue preparing over these next couple of months for the tournaments that, that we have ahead. I wanted to ask you about all this problem that there is in Lima about the rights of transmission of TV. Here in the United States, it's very easy to have a contract with Apple TV, and there is all a problem. What do you feel that the league still has teams that maybe can't play? How do you take it? Is it going to take time to get football there? Yes, I think that there's always a good copy of the good good organization that there is in the MLS. I don't know much about the topic, but I hope it can be solved. I think there's a lot of great things that different leagues and countries can take from what uh, MLS is doing with Apple. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the, the subject, but I hope, I hope it's able to get resolved quickly.